Welcome to Cathay Pacific's The Pier, first class lounge. More importantly though, welcome to a shower inside Cathay Pacific's The Pier. I've just got off a 12 hour flight from London Heathrow. It's midday current time here. Our next flight is until seven o'clock. So we've got seven hours here in Hong Kong airport and we're gonna spend all of it here at The Pier. restaurant at the end of the hall here in the lounge where you can order from a variety of you know, some Western food, some Asian style food, desserts, cheese plates and of course beers and wines and champagnes and that kind of thing. Now you may recognize this lounge if you watched the previous video on Cafe Pacific when we were in Heathrow. The design of this restaurant is almost exactly the same as the one that they have in Heathrow as well. The, the little noodle bar in Heathrow is pretty much the same as the noodle bar in the business lounge and the a restaurant in the first class in Heathrow. The layout is pretty much the same as here. Find the pier, I hear you asking what well, it's really easy to find actually. It's just between go to gate 63 or 65, and in between the two, that's where you'll find the pier, or in this case, that's where you'll find the first class version of Cathay Pacific's the pier. But don't get it confused with the business class pier because there's like a first class and a business class version. So if the business class one is just this side of gate 65 instead. Okay, we did actually have some noodles in there earlier and they were fantastic, but that was purely for research purposes. But if you're traveling business class and you're not a One World Emerald frequent flyer, you can still access the business class version of the pier, which like I said, is awesome anyway. So definitely check it out. In fact, if you're traveling first class or One World Emerald, I reckon it's worth checking out the restaurant here as well. Like I say, those noodles and dumplings were. time to chill out you can have these little day suites which are kind of these little private cabins shut yourself out from the outside world comfy little bed to lie down on and an awesome view over the tarmac although I should be resting but a little bit of plane spotting Snacks. Now, obviously, I didn't film in there, but I've just had probably one of the nicest neck shoulder and scalp massages. I don't often have massages, but because we've got a few hours here at the airport and before jumping on board another long flight, this time to Australia, I just thought it's a good way to loosen up. And you can book 15 minute treatments. There's a foot massage, a head, neck and scalp. Well worth doing if you just want to kind of 
Oh, relax and chill out a little bit before jumping aboard another flight. That was really good. So that's the Cathay Pacific Pier first class lounge. That was just what we got up to in about five hours down here at Hong Kong International Airport. Hope you found that useful. If you've got some other tips that I didn't cover in this video here or any other lounges that you visit or any tips for the pier first class and business class, let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel and you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It means a lot to know that you're enjoying this content I'm putting out there. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I've now got to get on an eight hour flight back to Melbourne, back to see the Cirrus hopefully doing some flying in Kilo Juliet November over the next couple of weeks.